everyone, and welcome to our last day of morning mindfulness. Yesterday got me thinking, um, during Sean's ILAC presentation, and I was thinking about negativity, that pattern of negative thought that Sean talked about and that we all find ourselves in from time to time. So today, I want to talk about negative thoughts and how we can soften them. We all have the tendency to dwell on negative thoughts, you know. We replay embarrassing moments in our head or reenact a conversation that we had had and imagine all the things that we could have said, should have said, didn't say. This also, you know, goes into the future. We might think about all the things that could go wrong that haven't gone wrong yet. Turns out we're, we're wired to think negatively. We dwell in our negativity and when we do, our stress increases and our happiness decreases. But while we can't eliminate negativity completely, we can, as I said earlier, soften it. And what do I mean by that? Well. Negative moments of thought will happen. It's just, it's inevitable. They'll happen. But by recognizing those thoughts and accepting them, they don't have the same opportunity to grow and spin into even more negativity. So that's what I want to focus on today. Challenging and accepting (laughs) <laughs> that negative thoughts happen, but what do we do with them? So let's start off by by getting comfortable. Maybe you want to lay on the floor, get in a comfy position in your chair, whatever you need to do to make the space and yourself comfortable. Let your arms Rest at your side. Allow your shoulders to fall away from your neck. And take a moment to take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. If a negative thought comes to mind during this exercise, that is okay. Don't suppress it, even though you may want to. Instead, acknowledge it. It's a real feeling. Sit with it for a moment and breathe through it. Feel the feeling and then allow it to go. Feelings are just like breathing. After you inhale and hold the air in your lungs, you eventually have to exhale and let it go. Continue to focus on your breathing and take in the sights and sounds of Camp Mason. As you inhale, notice the smell. flow out of you, out of your mind, out of your body, continuing to watch
watch each inhale turn into an exhale. As you wander around camp, take note of all the positive and beautiful things here, here in this space and time that is just for you. Notice what's happening in the mind. You may find yourself coming back over and over again to the same thoughts repeatedly. When we stop and sit, thoughts of regret, resentment, nervousness, negativity, they all have the opportunity to arise. We often find ourselves drawn to the negative because we want to fix the things that are wrong. When you notice this happening, don't push the thoughts away. Just notice the pattern of the mind. Notice what's happening and let each thought go, gently coming back to the breath Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth.
While we can't control most things in life, we can work to improve our surroundings and how we feel. Before we leave the beauty of Camp Mason and end this meditation, I encourage you to identify three positive things right now. It could be anything. Something that makes you happy. Someone that makes you happy. Absolutely anything. And hold them in your mind for a moment. Negativity can creep in, and that's okay. It's a part of life. But positivity can sneak in too. It could be a peaceful moment of silence, the beauty of nature, Or something completely unexpected. Trust me, it's always there. If you've seen an ILAC presentation at some point, you may recognize the words I'm about to say. If you change the way you talk, you change the things you think, and then you change the things that you believe. As we leave this moment and come back to the room, don't leave the feeling. Take it with you and remember that you are lovable and capable.